Hello and welcome! My name is Shox and we are playing The Witcher 3. Thanks for joining us. We just started the game. Uh, we had a nightmare and now we are hunting after said woman. Alright, let's go. Uh, we have to go somewhere. Anything? War is not exactly going our way. Yeah, these we these are the northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Yeah, I love the little interactions we we hear between those two and other people in the cities or, or between us that tell us about the story that the backstory that's going on the war that's going on uh, that they were on a side and you know something happened and these are i guess people that were captured in the war and well now they're no longer go, but let's go. go where we are supposed to go and the, the landscape clearly shows that it is you know not the best of times for everyone involved here. The villages are burned down. We going? Help me! Help! Someone's in distress. Let us help. Oh wow, that is a massive thing. Eating up a full horse, what the hell? Stay away from Roach. Hell yeah. That slice him with pieces. Damn, he can fly too. Talk about someone tough to fight. And it just takes the whole horse with it. Holy cow. Those animals are brutal. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. So, buddy, God, you're right. Close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare, provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Nah, uh, you know, we're, we're not necessarily, you know, paladins that just go and do things out of the good of our heart. Um, we are, after all, witchers that have to make you know, some money to survive, so we could use a few crowns. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I have a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods, now this. Here. Thank you very much. Back to the trail. Like I said, Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Hmm. I mean, he, he just got robbed. His horse was, or like, not robbed, but they took all his stuff. His horse was eaten. I don't think he's like a big threat for us. But so maybe he, well, because of that, he might just rant us out. But yeah, we're looking for a woman. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps who'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. All right. Let's get some beer. Camera roach. 
When you're on the road, hold A without steering to automatically follow its path. Oh, that is such an awesome idea. Yes, please. Like, the developers here really, really put some so, thought into Griffin this close to the village. The small things. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here, I'm near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft. And also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements, such as villages and cities. These are marked like this on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. All right. Let's see what's going on in this village and if we can, if we can find any more information about. What a dick. <laughs> The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. So I guess Nilfgaard took over Temerian. Like it was the war between those two parts of the country. What? Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, pulled things one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Oh, nice. So we can buy stuff. Um, well, we're someone who gets to the point pretty quickly. So, we'll get beer afterwards. But first, we're looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. <laughs> Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Um... That's first stuck business. Like, can we earn any money actually slaying that griffin? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. 
So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. And it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Oh, just looking at her face, it's amazing how detailed, like, this engine now got. Also, like, um, both of the guys' faces in, in, in general. I really like it. All right, then. Now, show me what show you got. What you got behind the counter. Let's see what I'm going to drink. All right. So, I don't think we, we can, we, A, want to sell anything. Uh, not whether really that we found anything. Oh yeah, we got something from the ghouls that we slayed in the beginning. But most importantly, I think we want to get uh, something to eat just to recover from um, any damage we take, like if we have to fight again. So I think regeneration or regenerating vitality, it regenerates the more, the longer um, the the effect duration is. So let's get a bunch of bread and yeah, maybe chicken. And what do we have here? Homemade pepper vodka. I mean, he's already drinking vodka. Um, I think a lot of the other things here are, oh wow, 30 seconds. Let's get some of this. Alchemy. All right, and let's drink um, a vodka with um, what's his face? I forgot what his name was. All right. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. So let's see if we can find out a little more about where Yennefer, I think, is who we that up. changing Please. after. I'm not is. decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. All right, so let's not kill anyone or pick a big fight. Let's just ask around. for someone. We seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Okay. So options marked like this will make use of the Axi sign. The sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Huh. Well, let's try. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. All right, so we, we, we figured out that she was indeed riding through here, but um, we don't know in what direction she went. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. With tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? And by the way, I really like the dialogue. It, it hits in so many things in our world, like like the sun spinning around the earth um, and the Oxenford College. It's just ridiculous. I love it. I love the dialogues. Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. 
A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Um, yeah, I, I'd say write about the war, what it's really like. Because a lot of times history is written, you know, by whoever wins, and they just write it how they feel, like writing it, not necessarily how it actually happened. And like some of the most impressive photographies, for example, came from those guys who actually were in the front line taking pictures. So write about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. All right, that was an interesting Gotta conversation. Go. So long. A moment. Didn't really you help us out. man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. <laughs> um, do we do we want to play a game? Let's try it out. I want to see what this game is about Splendid. Here's and how, how we play it. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game. It simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. Interesting. I will go first. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use them wisely. Unit card strength. This is the unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Okay. This is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Close combat, ranged, or siege. And there's a special ability. Some unit cards have special abilities. This K. K. Dwayne Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Oh, we're Weather Cards. Weather Cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. So, Frost uh, decreases the efficiency of melee. Wind, as soon as the second one, decreases the efficiency of arrows or ranged units. And rain decreases the efficiency of siege weapons. Start of each game, you can select two cards to discard and redraw. Let's skip that for now and go straight to play. All right, so I, I like it. It's kind of like a, 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 a different version of magic, I, I'd say. Here's the battlefield. All right. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Press A to select the card from your hand. Press A again to place it on the battlefield. All right, my turn. Let's see what we have. Um, 
Um, yeah, let's see. I don't think there's there's any like mana implication. Like you don't you don't play with mana. So let's let's start with a, a medium ranged unit. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of the round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play, or let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Oh, I see. So it's like, you play your cards, and someone else, like, that guy plays his cards, and, and you know, whoever has more, wins. Ah, oh, interesting. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of the units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Oh, interesting. Probably shouldn't have... Oh, so how, how does the round end then? So he played an archer, let's uh, play that dude. And let's play a siege unit. Yeah, the question is really... Like, what do I use what for? Um, right, I mean, we would need a... Uh, actually, a wind card to disarm more of his uh, ranged units. So yeah, I didn't really look at that and those two cards. Um, is that my leader card? Alright, let's... Um, well, we have a lot of ranged ones, so let's keep focusing on ranged units. And another ranged unit, maybe. Now, ah, let, let's do a, a foot soldier. Because we gotta block his two uh, foot soldiers. Oh, that's actually really good. We have fog. So... Well, we... So these... Okay, so we have six in, in the front row, and he has seven in the front row. Which kind of leaves us at the disadvantage, so let's play... The Ballista... And pass, I guess. So we can use this. What is this? Uh, use leader card? We gave 6 into 11. I think I'll, I'll pass right now. And it doesn't... Pink an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Okay, I just wanted to pass it and actually want to use that one. But okay, um... I just want to pass. Why can I not pass? It, um... Won't let me pass. Oh, I have to hold it. All right, pass the round. Let's see, I mean, it's, it's weird. I think he can just keep adding people until he's stronger. Um, oh, that sucks. The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once the player has lost both life gems. Oh, what? He actually lost? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. 
All right, um, let's start with the front line. I don't, do I still have this card? He passed. Um, well, if he loses this round, that's it for him. So if he passes, he passes again, I just, um, pass as well. Oh, he has no more cards left? Nice! We won! We won our first card game. As a witcher against that intellectual fool there. Thought he was too intelligent to lose against us, but he did. Let's look at the pro tips. There is no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of a battle. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or pur purchasing them from the vendors. Nice. Well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Nice, it's a cool, fun, and also simple game. We've got a new Gwent card. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and go to the Gwent deck panel. Oh no, we just saw our cards. Let's just ask. No, we just talked to the scholar. Let's talk to Gaunter Odrim, or Odim. I think that's the last person we have to talk to in here. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. Mm -hmm. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. <laughs> um, I... So the question is, will it make him more talkative when we have a drink and you know, have a small connection? But he... Yeah, let's just be like, you know, I agree. Let's have a drink and let's... Then talk business. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh, he knows her. Look at that. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help him. How do you know her? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Oh, he knows a lot. He knows Yennefer, he knows us. And everyone very well. Wow. Um, yeah, who might you be? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. So... Where's Yennefer? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? <laughs> I, li I like the options. It's like either none of your business, which says, well, apparently it's about love. Or, of course it's about love, because, you know, it's about love. Um, well, he seems to know a lot. Anyway, well, I'd say it's none of his business, because he might have his own attentions with... Yennefer and just decide not to help us. All right, none of your business it is. None of your business. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilfgaardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. 
Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Makes sense. All right, we found out a lot about uh, Yennefer. So she came through here, she talked to someone at the garrison, and we learned how to play Gwant. Nice. All right. But I think it's also time to end this episode here. Thanks so much for joining me for The Witcher 3. My name is Shox, and see you next time.